What's up guys? The fin tutorial number 8. We continue overlaying videos. This time in a 3D workspace. Through this tutorial we're gonna duplicate layers, animate them 3D, and apply some color grading to create this interesting effect. A video flying over itself. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit 10, 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room. Okay, let's go to the film. Here it is. We're going faster this time. This is our A tutorial. We've been working with the film for a while. So let's import a video. Select this one. Open. Comes to the media panel. I can see it in the preview window on the trimmer. Let's pick for a interesting part. This could be the setting point. Let's select a setup point like this. Setup point. And let's drag this to the timeline. I don't want to change the editor sequence. Zoom in a little. And this is it. About 9 seconds of video. Let's preview this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing... Okay, I want, as this video is playing, this same video flying around the screen. That would be a visual effect. How we do that? Well, in anything is always done through composite shots. So, right click on this, as you know, and then make composite shot. Let's call this clean room composite shot, okay? And now, let's change from the editing workspace. We are now to Composing. Click on Composing. Well, time to make the visual effect. Let's preview this. Hi guys, welcome back to my... Well, I want this video flying around with the same video in the background. So we need this video two times. Let's do this. Let's select this video, right click on it. And we can just duplicate. Click on this. So we have two times the same video. Which one is this one? Remember, in the film, the video in an upper track always covers, conceals the video in a lower track. You can see it like this. Let's click on this drop down arrow, transform, and as we know, you can change the scale by clicking. Let's switch from 100% to 50. Press enter, and there it is. As you see, if I click on this, this is highlighted in blue, this is outlined in blue. If I click this one, this one, the background video, will be highlighted in blue. So. This one is this. This is the one I want to animate to apply keyframing to make this fly around. The background video could be a bit distracting, so I'm going to disable its visibility. How? By clicking at this eye. I click on this, I don't see it. This is still there, just that I don't want to see it right now. And it's time to apply some animation to this very clip. As in our last tutorial we learned to work in a 3D workspace, let's do that right now. Let's change this layer to 3D workspace. How? By clicking here, remember, layer dimensions, and let's switch to 3D plane. Click on this, the thing will always ask you you want a camera, say yes. And it's time. Let's apply some animation, let's use the keyframing that will be applied to this video, to this layer. And this is this one. So click on the drop down arrow and let's make the typical transformation. Transform. Remember, these controls are this one. In a 3D workspace, we've been working till now. Let's position the marker at the beginning, remember that. And we've been working with position, scale, and orientation. Appears the first keyframes. This time we want to work with opacity too. So click on opacity. You can click here or also click here. Well, remember, this kind of orientation is 0, 0, 0. If you switch to, for example, 20, press enter, it changes orientation. If you want the original one, just click 0, press enter, and that's all. The position, also the original, is 0 at the center of the screen. The scale, full screen will be 100%, press enter. And this is the original, the, the original size of this video. Opacity, 100%, means a solid video. If I type, for example, 30, press enter, the video will become a bit transparent. So remember, opacity, 100%. Well, at the beginning, I would like the video to be smaller. So let's change, switch, adjust its scale to 20, press enter. And I would like this video to be over here. I'm going to switch it manually, like this. Remember, 
the original orientation is 0, 0, 0. I'm adjusting it manually here. I'm going to adjust it this way too. So this video comes from here. Okay, I would also like to adjust this opacity. It comes a little transparent. So let's change this, adjust it to 30, press enter. A little transparent. I would like that at this time it becomes to 70, press enter. Let's adjust its position manually. I could adjust this number, but I just wanted to click and drag it like this to the center, like this. I'm going to rotate this and this way too. I like that. That would be at this moment. I'm also going to change this scale to 30. 30, press enter, got a little bigger. Then I would like this video at this moment, which is on the marker over here, to be over here. I would like to rotate it like this, like this, become smaller again to 20, better bigger, 40, press enter, opacity to 80, press enter, and I would like to drag this all. Look at this, this is new. I'm going to select this all. I want to drag this to a later moment in the timeline. I just click and drag like this, this way. Now I want at this moment get full screen. So opacity to 100, press enter. Position to 0, press enter. 0, press enter. Scale to 100. And orientation to 0, 0 and zero. Let's copy this, right click copy. This is unnecessary but at the end I would like to paste this again. So to keep these proportions. Now look this from the beginning without the background. Let's play this. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit 10 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room. Okay, now look at this. Draw the arrow position at the beginning, the marker, and let's enable the background video. Enable it. Let's play this. Cold. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit, 10, 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room. Very interesting. One final thing. I would like the background video to be a little bit black and white, like in night. I'm gonna look for an effect and drag it to apply it to the background video. I'm going to effect color grading, the down arrow, day for night will be okay. If I click at this and drag it to the background video, it will become a little darker. Now look at this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit, 10, 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room. This is our video, this is our visual effect. Let's export it. You just click on Sport content, go to sport, we'll go to the sport tab, go to sport. These are all the videos we have exported before. You can delete them just by right clicking and remove, remove, and so on. Now we have this one, the last one. I want an MP4, 720 pixels, and I want to save this in this folder. The name will be tutorial number 8. I'm going to save it and now it's time to export. Let's start exporting. And if you drag this bar, you can see exporting our MP4. 25 seconds. If we go to our desktop, open the folder, we will find the MP4 we have just created. Double click to view it. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit 10, 10 or 11 habits to have a cleaner room. Still a beginner tutorial. And remember, if you're watching this from YouTube, you will always find in the description a link to our full health team tutorial playlist. If you click on it, YouTube will take you to all the health team tutorials we are creating. So, that is all by now. I hope you like this video and to see you in the next one. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing 10 habit 10, 10 or 
11 habits to have a cleaner room. 